G'day YouTubers, and how you been? Uh, today's video is going to be uh, short and simple for a short and simple repair. If one of your brake lights stops working, more than likely it will be a bulb. If however both your brake lights stop working, chances of it being two bulbs gone are fairly remote. So first of all it could be the fuse, but if it's not that, it could be one of these. And this is your brake light switch. And today I'll quickly be replacing this. And you'll find your brake light switch in here. It sits on a bracket at the top of the brake pedal. And this normally fits in there. And, and it's connected to this plug right here. Which if you look in, you'll be able to see it's sitting at about like that there. Now to get the old one out, you need to, first of all, like we did with another job, uh, when I changed the clutch slave cylinder, we need to remove this panel here. So I shall do that now. As, as per normal, this is always a bit of a fiddly job. Um, so you've got to get your hand up over the top in the fuse, you know, under the uh, panel, the fuse box panel, and basically pull it down oh, as much as you can. Grab it at the back and sort of push, <sighs> in theory. One, run your fingers along the top. There's the other, and then there's one over here at the side. Get your fingers behind that, pull that out, and then let it drop down. Just gather up the little, uh, oh, gather up the plug, the uh, clip things, put them safe. No need to remove the diagnostic plug. Okay, so I've temporarily refitted the old one, which is here. Now to undo it, you have to turn it counterclockwise. Like that. So you turn it yeah, like that, and you would take the plug out, and then it comes out like that and then you get your new one which in this case is a brick part boo yeah boo yeah depending on how you feel about brick part I, I normally give them a yeah and we fit that and there's our new one lovely I shall put the other one to the side because if I happen to drop this it might lie with the other one and I won't really know which is which. So to fit that you have to push the brake pedal down as much as you can and then insert it in the thingy in the little bracket like so easier said than done yeah. and turn there we go I shall turn it so far and then reconnect the plug in there and then oh, moving that other cable out the way turn it around Just if you turn too far, it'll keep going and then come undone again. So I'm doing it basically till it's sort of like sitting like that, and then the pedal comes up. 
And so you end up with working brake lights. And I'll just give you a few tips on setting it up after you've installed it. So there's your nice new brake switch installed there. And at that angle, like I say, if you keep turning it clockwise when you put it in, it will overgo and and then go around to there and it will come out again. Um, so when, when you install it, you need to have your engine running so that the servo assistance is on the brakes. And then you push down the brake pedal with your hand as far as you can. It will go further than if the engine wasn't running. Uh, you then install your new switch and turn it around to lock it in place and then let the pedal up and you'll hear the little ratchet in the switch going click 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 as it finds its position and if you don't do that you'll find that it doesn't really work so there you have it a simple straightforward repair and I'll put a link in the description below to these brake light switches so thanks for watching and click subscribe and I'll see you next time.